A lot to discuss from the backyard tonight, and that's where we find meteorologist Jeremy Luan. Definitely a lot of weather updates. As a matter of fact, Scott, I think I was the first one to see the hints of a snowstorm in our forecast. I saw it last Sunday, so New Year's Eve. I was taking a look at that forecast, and I saw that there could be a snowstorm brewing, and it does look as though every model run since has indicated that we will have some sort of accumul accumulating snow as we go through the weekend. It's just the question is how much of that snow will actually accumulate. We're not so sure on those totals just yet, but I want to start off right now with a live look from Scranton from our rooftop cam and the people security cam there in Squirt House Square with the WEJL tower still lit, real beautiful. High temperature today was 35 degrees. That's what we're sitting at right now at 7 p.m. Low is 29, so well above average. Normally our low this time of year is 22 degrees. As we go till tomorrow through the day on Friday, it will be near average, if not below average, for low temperatures. It's going to be very chilly overnight tomorrow as well, Friday too. All right, you see those winds right now? They're coming out of the west-southwest at 3 miles per hour. They will not be that calm as we go through the day tomorrow. We'll have wind gusts up to 20, even 30 miles per hour. But right now, temperatures are feeling like what we're seeing on the thermometer. 29 in Lake Harmony, 29 in Thornhurst, 35 in Sailorsburg and Lee Heighton, 33 in Frackville, 34 in Eliesburg, and 34 in Bloomsburg, too. Here's our current satellite and radar. Just some overcast skies, so nothing to talk about as far as moisture goes, but that will change as we go through the day tomorrow. We do have some snow flurries on tap for the early morning hours. It'll be gusty and cold all day. As a matter of fact, we'll start off our warmest temperatures around midnight, and then it'll just continue to tumble throughout the day into the 20s and even teens for some, feeling like the single digits, if not like near zero degrees in some of our locations. I have those details coming up in just a little bit, and we do have that snowstorm brewing for the weekend. So let's time everything out for you here on Future Clouds and Radar. We will continue to see overcast skies as we go through the evening tonight. We'll see a few of those lake effect enhanced snow flurries begin to enter their uh, way into Potter and Tioga counties. We'll also see them continue to stream their way almost like spokes of a bicycle wheel. As we go through the morning hours, we'll continue to see those snow flurries push through even past sunrise, even towards noontime. We could continue to see some lingering flurries throughout the region, but noontime is when we start to also see some breaks of sun, specifically in central Pennsylvania and also down through the southern tier. And and then by 1.30, we'll have a primarily clear sky. So the sun will return once those snow flurries start to exit. But we have a very strong northwest wind coming in, so it will feel much chillier. Even though you have the sun out, it will feel very cold tomorrow afternoon. Then we go through Thursday into Friday. Conditions remain primarily sunny. It's not until Saturday that we start to see the start, uh, those overcast conditions start to encroaching in our region. And then as we go towards Saturday evening and afternoon, that's when we'll see that snowstorm start to nip at central Pennsylvania. And then it'll push across all of northeastern and central Pennsylvania through the day on Saturday and into the day on Sunday as well. As far as those flurries for tomorrow, the European model is indicating maybe a coating in some of our regions. I don't think that's going to occur. These flurries are going to be very light in nature. You'll see some flakes flying around, but I don't really think it's going to stick anywhere. But here's that temperature trend for tomorrow. Starting off around 11 a.m. at 33 degrees and then just taking a tumble, we normally top out for our high temperatures around 3 p.m., but it will continue to just get colder and colder throughout the evening, and these temperatures are what you'll feel, see on the thermometer, around 22 degrees overnight, but with those added wind gusts of 13, 14, even 15 to 16 mile per hour winds as we go through the afternoon hours tomorrow, I think that's when the peak wind gusts will occur between 1 and 4 p.m. It'll actually feel on your skin, 7 p.m. tomorrow, 7 degrees in Hazleton one single degree in Forest City. It'll feel like 12 degrees in Scranton, feel like 15 in Williamsport, and then overnight into Friday, this is 3 a.m., maybe two degrees in Mount Pocono is what it's going to feel like. Again, a degree in Forest City. All right, here's a look at that weekend storm. We'll see the first flakes start to nip at the region around 1.30. It'll continue all day on Saturday, and it looks like it'll continue through the majority of the first half of Sunday as well. So we could see some significant accumulations. We're not ready to put together a snow total map just yet. That comes 48 hours before the storm, but it definitely does look like it will be a plowable type snow. All right, here's your seven day forecast for tomorrow. 36 degrees, but it will feel a lot chillier than that with the added wind gusts. Snow flurries possible for the morning hours. Friday looks mostly mostly sunny, and then we have a mostly cloudy Saturday, and then that's when the snowstorm starts to push its way in. And I have the Christmas symbol there for si Sunday also because some of you who celebrate Russian Christmas will have a white Christmas to enjoy. Well, how about that? All yeah. right, Jeremy, we'll see you tonight. Thank Glass you. Glass half full all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I like your attitude. For